Next to me in our orangutan enclosure we've got Charlie who's a 34 year old born in orangutan. Charlie is going to have an anaesthetic tomorrow. He's going to go through a whole raft of tests because we're sending three of six of our orangutans to the USA in November. So we need to make sure that our group as a whole are nice and healthy just to meet the, the strict regulations that the USA has to allow animals from New Zealand in. So health check for an orangutan means that they need to be anaesthetised because as well trained as they are there are some things that they just won't let us do awake and they're quite big animals and so there's the potential for any procedures to be quite dangerous. Today we've got a lot of different people with us. We've got several nurses who are helping out with the anaesthesia and monitoring Charlie during the anaesthetic. Uh, we've got a team of four vets and so we all have all our different jobs that we're doing during the procedure. So helping with monitoring, x-rays, uh, keeping control of the whole situation. Because as you can imagine when you've got so many people around, it uh, is a bit of a challenge to make sure everybody stays on the right track and knows what they're doing the whole time. Charlie's anaesthesia today was really nice and smooth. We did some routine health tests, so things like blood tests just to check his liver and kidneys, uh, checking for any infectious diseases that he might be carrying, uh, and just making sure that everything was all in working order for an older boy. First we took some x-rays, and so x-rays are just to check that his lungs are, and his chest are nice and clear, just as part of a health screen. When we do x-rays, as like with people, you want to have them standing up or sitting up. And when you've got a 90 plus kilo orangutan who's asleep, trying to lift him up and getting to stay in one position can be a bit of a challenge. So we've got a little chair that sits on the side of our surgery table, and so what we do is we prop Charlie up in that, and that's so we can get a really clear look at his chest and that is air sacs. So orangutans have these really big air sacs around their chin and their neck and that's so they can make these nice big booming calls so they can communicate it. And uh, air sacs can sometimes get infections in them so it's really important that when we do anaesthesia that Charlie gets x-rays of those areas as well. So Charlie's checkup went really well. It was a beautifully stable anaesthesia and he's woken up nicely, still a little bit sleepy at the moment, just like we would be after you wake up from uh, any operation. Uh, but what's uh, come out so far in his health testing is that his kidneys are normal, his liver's normal. Uh, he's actually looking really good for someone who's getting towards being an older man. I, I wouldn't call him old yet, I'd get in trouble if I said that. But uh, he's doing really well.